Hello everybody, Damien here, and I'd like to tell you that <clears throat> a very long time ago, I thought of a game idea, sorry, I thought of a game idea for a survival game that was in great detail. A game where you would literally be able to use just about anything and everything to uh, create items or change items or like just the greatest details of changing things around. I, I can't even put it in words right now. Uh, but I, I also thought of it as being like your survival, like uh, certain skills that you could use and and where are the words? Where are the words? Uh, like say your survival conditions it would show like you would have to keep up with everything your body heat how much food and water you took in uh, how tired you got I, I thought of it so long ago but I am happy to say that someone has finally created it because I sure as hell could have not I don't have it in me to create a game I wish I did but someone has created the game that I thought of over a decade ago. Um, it is an alpha sandbox version of the game. It's not even beta yet. And it is called The Long Dark. Now, I've only just barely touched this game a little bit. Um, I'm trying it out right now. And I apologize if my voice is a little too loud. One of them, one of my viewers suggested uh, they said they couldn't hear me too well, so they suggested trying to change the positioning of my mic, which I'm doing now. And hopefully, it's not too loud or too muffled or messed up in any way. If it is, I apologize because this episode is going to have to stay like that. I won't be able to change it afterwards, but uh, I will make adjustments for the future episodes. Now, this game. Is amazing. I love this game. I actually I gotta look up the credits and find the person who did this and see if I can get a hold of them and like thank them for creating this because this this game is so awesome. And I'll show you. I'm gonna go to the sandbox and I barely touched it, but I'll have to uh, just to show you guys what the game is like. I'm going to sure whatever uh, just so. Whatever. Just just so you guys can see what I'm talking about here, it's... Ah, I don't even have words for it right now. I'm also very tired today. I had a long day at work. Yeah, I'm just... I'm tired. Oh, I'm starting off inside of a place this time. That didn't happen before. That did not happen before. I never... I, I started outside before. I thought it said something about your plane crashed or something. Unless the story changes every single time. That is interesting. That that could be. Okay, so you start off with some basic supplies. And it looks like... It looks like I'm starting off with some... Pretty shitty gear, actually. I have... Driving gloves, a baseball cap. A couple of sweaters, some jeans, and some... Th thermal underwear. So, you can layer your clothing in this a little bit. I'll show you the menu here. This, this is the layering here. You can put, like, I've got these two, uh, what is it, a parka and a ragged hoodie, and then that's on the inside layer. And then there's an outside layer where you could put, like, a giant winter coat on or, or something. But, wow, it sucks that I'm wearing a baseball cap. That is, I didn't even know there were baseball caps in this game. <clears throat> but I'm starting off with an area that's got a lot of equipment. There's already a knife and simple tools. A knife and a lantern already, and it took me forever to find those things in my last attempt to play this game. But you can see... There's a lot that you need, and I, I'm lucky to start off. Oh, God. 
I could not find game. any rifle cartridges in the last one. I found the rifle, but not the cartridges. <clears throat> First aid kit. Whatever's in there will be important. Painkillers, bandages. You're gonna want to find lots of bandages. What's that? No. Is that? Oh, a rifle cleaning kit. Could end up being used. Used to keep rifle in good working order. That will be good. military grade MRE. Good quality meets technical requirements to be considered real food. Well, that's a good thing. Can of peaches. A <clears throat> safe. It's locked. Oh, I have to find the code? That's so cool! Oh my god, I've barely touched this game. I, I'm still learning about it myself. But it's so awesome. So far, I'm just loving this game so much. Ah, decent little socks. Okay, so I want these socks on. There we go. Hmm, trail boots. I need better gloves and a better hat as of immediately. <clears throat> uh, let's check. There's, there's these containers you can check for stuff. And there's... Everything's chance-based, too. Like, if I show you guys the skill levels... Oh, man, I didn't find anything in either of those. Uh, this is how warm you are, how tired you are, your thirst gauge, and your food gauge... And then your your physical condition overall, what the temperature feels like to you, your calorie intake. It is extremely detailed. And then there... Whoops. How did I do that again? That's not it. That's the one. Journal. If I go to the skill set here, there we go. Uh, harvesting carcasses from hunting, cooking skill, fire starting skill, ice fishing skill, rifle skill, archery skill, and mending. So... What the hell happened to my camera? Sorry everyone, my camera messed up. I don't know why, I don't know what's wrong with it. I hope it doesn't do it again. But uh, I'm gonna have to see where that left off and I might have to leave a frozen camera frame in there for a while, which is not going to be, not, it's not gonna make me happy. That will not make me happy at all. Um, but I don't want you guys to miss out on any of the gameplay, so. I want you guys to see that part. If I have to show you a picture of my stupid frozen face for a while, then so be it. Okay, so this is the outside world, and if I check here... Oh, it doesn't seem too cold here. You can see there's multiple arrows that'll show up, like rested bar there. If I start moving, it'll go down faster and whatnot. So I have, in the last game I was in, it was super cold, and I had three of those little black arrows on my warmth bar, and it was dropping rapidly. I was losing a lot of heat. I had not a lot of good quality clothing, and I had to keep going from inside places. Okay, that cabin up there. I have to remember where this is, because I don't think there's a map in this game. Not as far as I know. Rabbits? You know what I'm going to do? I am going to set up that snare. And see if it works. I don't have any bait, but... I mean, at least if I'm in the general area where these guys are, I might be able to catch them. They're all going to run away from me now, but... Of course, I probably could have went the long way around them and scared them in the direction of the snare. That would have been smart, but I didn't think of that until after I already scared them. Run, my fluffy friends. I'm going to eat you if you end up in my trap. This one's going for it. Go it, grab it. Yep, go in it. Go in it. Ah, oh, no, I didn't get him. Ah, two of them went right by it. Dang, I guess I need bait. I wonder if I can catch these guys. They don't seem very fast for rabbits. But I also don't want to tire myself out chasing them either. Okay. Oh my. Is there anywhere that I can actually go? And, ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so my camera messed up again. I really hope this isn't going to be a continuous problem. It's already starting to bother me, and it happened twice. Now, we've got, what is this? Ah, oh, here we go. This is one of the things that happens. 
Max's last stand. There's a body here, frozen to death. I can search him. And he had absolutely nothing on him. That sucks. Uh, but large sticks like this can be broken down into smaller ones. Mm, I don't have any tools to do this with, so it'll take a while. But I do need sticks. So I'm going to grab a couple of these. It gives me three sticks apiece to break down these branches. And th that's one of the best parts about this is uh, when I thought of making a game similar to this like so long ago. Why am I moving so slow? Am I over my carry weight already? No, not even close to. Oh, maybe because I'm going uphill in the snow. Um, what was I saying? Uh, the, the amount of time that it takes to do something... Um, there's only a little small loading bar uh, for real time, but in-game time passes quickly. Oh, there's a trail here. In-game time passes quickly as you're doing an action. So your, your amount of daytime or light time, which is up in the top left corner there, if I hold down the button here to bring up the stats. Wow, it's not that cold here. Minus one degree Celsius. Are those? What are those? Oh, birch bark. Hope nobody needs this anymore. Why would anyone need the birch bark anymore? That'll be great for starting fires. That's uh, that's good tinder right there. Bean birch sapling. Hatchet required for harvesting. My camera seems to be doing okay right now. I hope that it fixed its problem to that. What have we got? Oh god! Hi there. You scared the poop out of me. So here's the thing, is I didn't want to leave that cabin area because of the safe. There's got to be something useful in the safe. I imagine it would be the rifle, maybe? Where the heck am I going? I have no idea where this is. I'm in the middle of nowhere right now. I mean, I remember certain uh, landmarks in the last, in the trial that I did, and it was quite obvious where certain things were. You can actually melt snow into water in this game, but it's considered unsafe snow. And uh, then you have to either boil it or disinfect it. Ooh. A large edible shelf mushroom found mainly in coniferous trees. That's interesting. That's new. I haven't found that yet. That's cool. I like that. So I'm just going to browse around the forest for now and see what's going on. I'll be back when I have something to show. Oh, yes, this is, the, this is the train track. This is the train track that I found before. Uh, oh, there's the red car. Okay, I was here in my last game, so now that cabin is back between those two big rocks there. That's where it was a hidden path. That's why I couldn't find it before. So I am going to delve into the story eventually. I just wanted to give you guys a taste of this game and its sandbox version where you can just pick a map and check stuff out. And, oh, there's a body in here. Okay. Hope nobody needs another this rifle anymore. cartridge. And another box of wood matches. Right on. That was enough for me. Okay, so I've got a rifle cleaning kit and a bunch of rifle cartridges, but I got no rifle. Pork and beans, to... my fave. Oh yes, a worn sweater. That will go good. Actually, I'm going to put that on now. Oh, hello. Oh, wow. You got dug into, eh? Harvest frozen frozen carcass. <clears throat> Pardon me. I can do this with the. Ooh. I know that guts are important. Cause in the last one, I was checking it out. It'll take me 20 minutes to cut out the guts. What's my success chance? I didn't check. Everything has a fail chance that you won't get what you're looking for. I can get the hide. It'll take 30 minutes. And I might not successfully do it, but I did. Good. And then there's meat. 0.9 kilograms of meat. I will definitely go for that because food eventually gets hard to come by and I'm already depreciating on everything right now. And there's the cabin! I found it! Okay, let's get inside that bitch. 
I found this thing, this cabin, at just about the right time because there's only two hours of daylight left. And there should be an ample amount of supplies in here. I'm pretty sure there was some good stuff in here. Let's see, there's line. I could use Line this. is suitable for fishing. I just need a, oh, hey, look, a hook. It's exactly what I need. Something under here, too. But you have to look in, like, interesting places for some items. Herbal tea. Could end up being useful. Yeah. Oh, can opener. I found that in the last one, but it wasn't here. It was elsewhere. Look, survive the outdoors. I think I can Tips use this. Tips and tricks from wilderness survival actions. Improves fire starting skill by 10 points. So you can research five hours out of that. Oh, I thought I took it. Each book has... Okay, let's see. I found one before. I'll show you guys. Um... Yes, so you can research a book to improve your skills. Uh, it depends on how long you research it, and it'll improve your skills in certain areas, fire starting, rifle using. Why is the amount of weight I can carry dropped? And going down? Oh, probably because I'm getting tired and hungry to the socks that I am wearing repair them using a sony kit. I already had one on me. I have two now. That's excellent. Well, I suppose I can rest and... How many hours of daylight is this here? Three hours. It's dark though and I'm thirsty, so... I'd like to use up the soda cans that I picked up. That's what I want. I light up my torch here, or lantern, sorry. But that's enough of this cabin. Ah, this is what I used as my central hub the last time that I played. So I'm gonna venture out because daylight is about to break. So there's the ice shack off in the distance there, or that I saw from the distance earlier. It's not so much in the distance now. Uh, let's see. There's some cedar wood. This stuff will come in handy. I'm sorry if it's even darker for you than it is for me right now. Fishing tackle. It's just a hook and line. Newspaper. Fishing line. Oh, another can of soda. A couple drawers to search. So I'm just increasing the amount of weight that I'm carrying by picking all this stuff up, but I should be okay. At least enough so this to get back handy. to the cabin. Matches. Need lots of matches. Loose print and another fishing tackle. Wow, that was that was prosperous. Now the fishing hole here is frozen. I can chop it open with the hatchet and try fishing, which I haven't tried yet. But why is that ominous music playing? But I haven't, or I haven't tried fishing yet, and I, I don't plan on doing it just yet because I want to explore more of the area and find all the tools that I can use before worrying about that because I have a decent enough amount of food right now that I don't have to go fishing or hunting. Frozen angler could end up being oh, instructions useful. on ice fishing. I can increase my ice fishing skill. I'll be taking that. And what have we in here? <sighs> Another book. This is a burnable book. Then we've got... Tin of Sardines. Anything canned seems to be extremely useful because it doesn't go bad for long periods of time. Backpack. Another tin of sardines, a stale chocolate bar. Hey, when you're starving, you're starving, right? You'll eat anything that you can get down your throat. Accelerant. And that's it. Now, where were those like... Oh, I'm getting cold. That's not good. Here we go. I haven't done this yet, so I want to see how it works out. I'm going to try the fishing. 
I haven't done fishing or hunting or anything yet. So far, I've only just dug through... Uh, I've dug through uh, all the cabins that I found and everything. Okay, I'm getting cold fast. That's not good. Ice fishing hole. Uh, try fishing hours to fish? Just one, because I don't want to die. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, I fucked up. I need to find some place to escape this yeah, cold. Yeah, I messed up big time. I'm gonna die from the cold. Come on, this has to be where the cabin was, right? Oh, I am so gonna die. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna freeze to death if I don't get back to that freaking. Oh yeah, I am freezing to death. I can't see it on my screen, but on my recording screen, I can see I'm at 97%. Uh, of my con oh there we go if I do that it brings it up 97% is my condition and it is dropping because I'm freezing to death and it is minus 22 degrees Celsius I keep pushing the wrong button run I need to find a shelter like just anything right now I don't know where that other cabin the little the trailers were I don't know where Cabin is. Oh my god, this is the edge of the lake, too. Oh, I'm getting tired, too, now. I better stop running. Okay, son of a. Cup of coffee. Drink it? Did that wake me up a bit, maybe? I don't know how to get warm, though. I'd have to stop and build a fire, but... I can't do that on the ice, and I don't want to try to find an area to build a campfire and just sit there for a long period of time. I want to find a place to like, go inside and not waste my resources. I don't think... So. Oh, I, should, I shouldn't be running. Okay, there's a little green mark beside how tired I am. I guess it's... That's the coffee? It's kind of waking me up a bit. I shouldn't be running, but i got to find this place quick. I'm pretty sure that if I just run around the edge of the lake for as long as I can without dying, that I will find a place to rest. But I'm back at the trailers. I went in like a complete circle. What happened? Oh no. Well, the trailer will be salvation for my warmth at least. And was there a bed in there? I think there was. It says I'm getting really tired. I found a bed to sleep in, but this place doesn't have a fireplace to cook any food, which is something that I wanted to do. Cans of peaches, let's let's try that. They're cold, but shouldn't they be? Wouldn't you eat peaches cold? I I think you would. Wouldn't want to warm up a can of peaches, that'd be gross. I can research this book for five hours total which I may as well do now. And I think your skill base is with all characters. Like, if you were to start a new game with a new character, they also would still have these skills. It's your survival ability as a whole. Chair. I can cut this up into cloth, a tinder plug, and some wood. I'd get six cloth, six wood, and a tinder plug. That's a lot of stuff. So far, this game is just crazy. I love it, and I really want to d dive into it. So... I'll do a few more episodes of it and see what kind of feedback I get from it. And if you guys enjoy it, I'll keep doing it.
But uh, that's going to be it for now. So thank you all for watching. This is Damien signing off. I will see you all later.